if people are defecting and producing energy on their rooftops, what does that do to centralized power generators? Um, so um, what I want to talk about first is a sort of big picture question, and that is, where is the utility industry in the context of where other industries have been at, at a point in their development? Give us a sense along the trajectory of, of, of as this industry changes, what should, we look at, what should we look at as a corollary? Who wants to jump in? Well, I think it's an industry that's been operating in the same fashion for decades, if not close to a century. Um, there was a regulatory compact nearly a century ago which said, we want to make sure we have reliability, safety, low-cost power. Uh, we should start granting monopoly franchises to do that. And it was entirely vertically integrated when that happened. And so that created an incentive for investors to basically put their capital to work, which was great for the industrialization of the country. Um, over time, that's morphed into more of a cost-plus business model. The more capital I put in the ground, I'm going to get a return on that capital. And I think really the, the disruptive change is uh, as long as all power is headed in one direction, which is from central station power directly to a customer, that's not a problem. But the disruption is really that now there is distributed generation, most predominantly from solar, uh, that can operate behind the meter and take that load off the grid. And that, I think, is the largest scale disruption that we've seen in the marketplace. And so really what's been entered into the equation is competition to the monopoly business. And so, so Tom, as a veteran of, of, of networks and software systems that change established businesses, where are we? Where are utilities? What, 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 how, where are they in the, in, in, in the change? And what ought we to look for as an analog? Uh, as it relates to, so I'm an information technology guy. Uh -huh. And this is my fourth decade in the information technology business. I would say as it relates to taking advantage of innovations in information technology, communication technology, uh, utilities, particularly U.S. T utilities, are about 10 years behind other industries. Now, if we look at, if we look at, we, we talk about the grid and what is that. So, it, you know, it would be largely recognizable by uh, Edison, I think, where at one, at the one end of the value chain you're boiling water. Okay, you're spinning a magnet, you're creating a current, you're transmitting at a high voltage, distributing at medium voltage, it's going to a meter and then it gets to a consumer at, at low voltage. And uh, that infrastructure this decade is undergoing a significant transformation where all of the devices in that value chain are being upgraded to be remotely machine addressable. The most common example being the smart meter. But distributed generation is being, will be remotely machine addressable. The thermostat, the variable speed fan at Walmart, the vibration sensor, the nuclear reactor. And that investment worldwide that's going on this decade is $2 trillion, $100 billion this year in the US alone. So now this begins to look like a, when, when we censor these things and we can remotely sense their state, that offers a number of opportunities. And so it begins to look like a, fully connected sensor network. And there's a guy named Bob Metcalf, who was at Xerox Park, and he invented this thing called Ethernet, which turned out to be pretty useful. And he said the power <laughs> of this network is a function of a square of the number of nodes that connect right. So this begins to look like a fully connected sensor network, okay? So this change is happening. It's happening this decade. Distributed D uh, DG is definitely part of this. But this is a major, major change in the structure of this value chain. 